Hey everyone, and welcome to Pirates of the Caribbean Week 3 Deep Dive. What we're going to go ahead and start out is I want you guys to go down to the bottom right hand corner and click on the sprite called Spin. Then we're going to go to the top left hand corner and click on Costumes. And you guys should see your spin sprite appear on a checkered pattern canvas. And what we want to do is duplicate this. So I'm going to go to the top left hand corner of my screen and I'm going to hover over this little image and click Duplicate. And I'm going to do that again and again and again. Oops. There we go. So I have five different costumes. Now what I'm going to do is if you have something like mine where it's a plus shape, I'm going to change each one of them. So my second costume, I just made it a sideways um, bar. So this will flip. And it is important that all the shapes you guys make are centered on your screen. So you can see that your shape when you grab it has this little blue X or a plus sign. And then in the center of your screen, there's a little black crosshair. And you're supposed to overlap them so they snap together. And that's how you know it's centered in the screen. Once I have that one created, I'm going to go to my next one. So this is my third one. And I'm actually just going to go ahead and delete that. And I'm going to choose the square icon and I'm going to create a square. Now, if you guys do choose to create your own um, object, make sure that the color is the color of your wall pieces or your obstacles. You can do that by going to Stage, clicking on the Select tool, the one that looks like your mouse cursor, and clicking on one of the obstacle pieces or the wall pieces, and this will set the fill color to the color that you have as yours. Mine is red, so it set the fill color to red. And then I can go back to spin and then create this square that I just created, for instance, and it would be the right color I needed. So now that I have a square, I think I'm just going to leave it like that for that one. For this one, I'm going to go ahead and trash this, and I'm going to create another square. And I'm going to move it to the center of the screen. But this time, I'm going to use my reshape tool. This is the tool that looks like your mouse cursor with a little dot on it. And I'm going to go ahead and click here and here to create a dot on the blue line. And then I'm just going to change the shape of this cube. So I'm going to get pretty crazy with it. I'm going to put two dots here, move this one in, just like I did for the other. Oops. There we go for that one. Move this in. And I'm going to repeat that for all four sides. Now you guys don't have to copy me. I'm just showing you guys that you guys can get pretty creative with the things that you guys create. There we go. So now I have like a weird shape, kind of looks like a ninja star. And for the last one, I'm just going to trash can it. And I'm going to create another square, move it to the center, use my reshape tool. And I'm actually just going to grab right in the center and move it inwards. So it kind of has, whoops. A little arch to it on all the sides kind of makes it look like a little X there we go so those are all five of my shapes if you guys need time to create yours go ahead and pause the video here and create your five shapes now what we want to do now is go to the top left hand corner and click on code and inside, you're going to see these two blocks of code. If you guys don't have this, go ahead and pause the video here and get this code before starting. And what we're going to do is click on Looks. That's the purple color on the left-hand side. And I'm going to grab Switch Costume to Costume 5, placing it underneath Hide. And I'm going to click on the word Costume 5, and I want it to say Costume 1. Then I'm going to grab Next Costume, and I'm going to attach it to the bottom of the other Hide for when I receive Next Level. This will make it so that way every time this next level is called, it'll load the next costume or the next spinning object. Now, if you guys have something like mine where it says if level equals one, then, and you have set to go zero, zero, so this is where it'll spawn inside the world, you guys can create another one. So you can duplicate this and put it down here and change this to level three, for instance. And then now on level one and on level three, you'll have this spinning object. So you can add more to levels like so. And let's say you wanted a certain spinning object for that level. So you can go to looks and grab switch costume two, and you're gonna grab it and place it underneath show. And for level one, let's say we want costume two. And for level three, we want costume five. 
So you can customize it by choosing any of these different ones. And these costumes represent different shapes that you guys created. So go ahead and mess around with that at this time. Make sure you guys go ahead and pause the video here, click the green flag to play test your game and see how that all works before resuming the video and going onwards. What we're going to do next is click on the sprite called Shrink. And you guys are going to go to the Costumes tab at the top left. And we're going to do a lot of the same thing we did to the Spin Sprite. So I'm going to duplicate this five times. So I have five costumes. And I'm going to leave number one alone because I want to have a square. But for level two, I think what I'm going to do is make this pretty spiky. So I'm going to take this and bring it inwards like so. And I can click this right here, it says pointed, and it'll make the edges more sharp. I'll click pointed, there we go. And then pointed, and lastly for the last side, pointed. So again, you guys don't exactly have to create the same shapes I do. If you guys wanna create something else, you're more than welcome to. For the next one, I think I'm gonna get more squishy. So I'm gonna click here and here, and I'm gonna bring this inwards. I'm going to round out all the corners so I can click on either side of the corner and then bring the corner piece inwards and this will round the edges of the cube like this. Then what I can do is I can click on fill, change the color to white, then change the color to black and I only clicked on the circle tool to make that circle and now I have a little eye. And I can hold down shift and select both of the objects by clicking on them. Click copy, paste. And see the eye could go off this way, or I could click flip horizontal, and now he's looking that way. So I can have it as like a little box if I want to, to give it like a silly face. So you guys get pretty creative with this. Uh, for this one, I think what I'm going to do is make more of a... I need a rectangle, so let me go ahead and delete this one. So I'll delete this one, and I'm going to make a rectangle shape. And what I want to do now is use the reshape tool, and I'm just going to round out the corners of this rectangle. There we go. And now what I want to do is put two bubbles here and here roughly and then one in the middle, and bring that inwards, like that. So just a weird little shape. And then lastly, I'm gonna mess around with the last one and just create something out of the blue. And there we go, so that's just a little weird shape. So go ahead and pause the video here and work with all your costumes until you have all the shapes you want. And then when you're ready, go ahead and resume the video for the code part. What we're going to go ahead and do next is we're going to go to code at the top left hand corner. And then we're going to look for this block of code right here where it says when green flag clicked. And what I want you to do is go to looks and we're going to grab switch costume to costume 5, placing it right underneath hide but before broadcast shrink. Then we're going to go ahead and click on costume 5 and make it costume 1. Then we're going to grab next costume from under looks and place it underneath when I receive next level hide. So that way it's at the very bottom. And this will make it so that way right here, um, when the next level is called, it'll load the next shape. You guys can also do this part for the shrink one that we did on the move or the spin. If you guys right click here and duplicate it and place it right back inside and change the level number, you guys can have another one. And what you guys can also do is go to looks and grab switch costume two, place it in under show, and you guys can pick which one you want. So I, so I could pick um, costume one or I could pick costume three for this one. So go ahead and play test your guys game and make sure you guys like the changes. Go ahead and pause the video here while you guys do that before going on to the next step. Once you guys are done with the code on the shrink sprite, we're going to go to the bottom right hand corner and click on the sprite called move. And then what we're going to do is click on costumes. And we're going to do the same thing we did to the spin sprite and the shrink. So we're going to duplicate this five times. And I'm going to go to the second one and I want to trash can this and I'm going to make a square. So this sprite is going to move side to side. 
Next, I'm going to go to the next one, and I think I'm going to make this like a cross shape, so that way it kind of hangs up the player, so like, they're like, oh, I just need to breeze by it, and then they hit this wall and they get stuck, you know? So it kind of gets, hopefully gets them caught on the edges of the, one of these um, pieces. That's my idea. Then what I want to do for this one is I'm going to go ahead and create a circle, because I haven't done that yet. So I'm going to make a circle that just moves back and forth, and I think that would be kind of cool, um, because the Square has some very um, flat edges, so it's kind of predictable where it'll go. But I feel like with this circle, it doesn't have a flat edge, so when it hits it, it's going to go really weird. So I'm kind of curious to see how that's going to work. Next, what I want to do is click on the last one. And I think what I'm going to do is use the circle tool again, but I'm going to create a shape on both sides here. Kind of like a dumbbell. And the idea is, like, say the ball comes in at, like, a side angle, like I can draw it. Here, let me uh, get this out. So, like, it came in, like, where this black is at this angle or something. And um, the idea is it, like, bounces, you know, over here, and then it bounces back and forth, and it just gets all bounced all around. I think that'll cool, create some cool effects. So we're going to test that out. Let me to remove those. Oops. There we go. So we're going to test all that out. Next, what I'm going to do is click on the code sprite at the top left-hand corner. And we're going to go start working on this code here. If you guys need some time to do your costumes, go ahead and pause the video here and then resume the video when you guys are ready. And what we want to do is go to Looks and grab Switch Costume to Costume 5, placing it underneath Hide, changing it to the Costume 1 like before. And then for this When I Receive Next Level, we're going to grab Next Costume and place it under um, Hide. After that, we already have this level. If you guys want to create another one, again, you just duplicate it, change the number, so that way that's where it'll spawn. So you can see it moving already. And then I can grab Switch Costume 2 and place that in here. And I can set which one it's going to be. So I want it to be number 5. And for this one, I'm going to make it number 3. So you guys can mess around with that. Make sure you guys go ahead and pause the video here while you guys go ahead and test out your guys' game. Make sure that the level is completable and the player can beat it. Because if the player can't beat it, then it's not really going to work. Alright, so we're going to go on to the last step. And I'm going to go ahead and click on the stage at the bottom right-hand corner of my screen. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on backdrops at the top left. And I'm looking at my first level, and you might be wondering... I, I didn't, I'm not happy with the color I chose as my wall piece. And this is the time that we can go ahead and change that. So if you click on the select tool, that's the one that looks like your mouse cursor. And you guys click on the red octagon or the red shape for your wall piece. And then click on fill. You guys can go ahead and change the color. So I just changed it to blue. But you want to make sure that you do this for all your other levels. So what you're going to do is go through, you're going to click on this paint bucket on the left-hand side on your toolbar, and you're going to go to level 2, and you're going to change your obstacles to those new color. And you're going to keep going to all your levels, and you're going to change all of them. So for this level, it probably really won't work because it's the same color as the background, so I'll have to change the background before updating this one. But for all the others, I could just go through and change that. So that way, they are all my new color, right here. And once I've changed my color, if you guys need to pause the video and do that, I would do that now. But once I've changed my color, I'm going to go to the Code tab at the top left. And I'm going to go to the Ball Sprite at the bottom right-hand corner. So go to the Code at the top left and click on the Ball Sprite. And inside the ball sprite, you'll see a block of code that looks like this. Let me zoom out just a hair. There we go. When I receive start level, forever, if touching color and the color is red, then... Now your color might be different, but that was the color mine used to be. So what I'm going to do is click on this color red and click on this little eyedropper tool. And I'm going to bring my attention to my game screen. And I'm going to click on my new color, which is that blue color. Like so. And now my color is set to blue. So that's how you guys would change the obstacles if you guys were wondering. That's going to be it for this video, guys. Make sure you guys test out your game, test out your changes, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay awesome, everyone. Bye, guys.